My mom started a small business, and I've seen what it takes. Mom was 50 when my dad died. She got on a bus every weekday for years and rode 40 miles each morning to Madison. She earned a new degree and learned new skills to start her small business. It wasn't just a new livelihood. It was a new life. And it transformed my mom from a widow in grief to a small businesswoman whose happiness wasn't just in the past. Her work gave her hope. It made our family proud. And to this day, my mom is my role model. Behind every small business, there's a story worth knowing. All the corner shops in our towns and cities, the restaurants, cleaners, gyms, hair salons, hardware stores, these didn't come out of nowhere. A lot of heart goes into each one. And if small business people say they made it on their own, all they're saying is that nobody else works seven days a week in their place. Nobody showed up in their place to open the door at five in the morning. Nobody did their thinking and worrying and sweating for them. After all that work and in a bad economy, it sure doesn't help to hear from their president that government gets the credit. What they deserve to hear is the truth. Yes, you did build that. We have a plan for a stronger middle class with a goal of generating 12 million new jobs over the next four years. In a clean break, in a clean break from the Obama years, and frankly, from the years before this president, we will keep federal spending at 20% of GDP or less because that is enough. The choice, the choice is whether to put hard limits on economic growth or hard limits on the size of government. And we choose to limit government 